Moisture control is so important in building performance because it can lead to issues within your building structure. It can lead to mould and structural related issues such as wood rot. There are various ways in which moisture can move in and around a building. This can be liquid water, so rain can get into the structure, or it can be water vapour. And water vapour can get into construction systems either through air transported moisture, in which the water vapour basically takes a free ride with the air, or it can diffuse through building products itself. Material selection when designing systems within buildings is very important because some materials allow water vapour to transport through the materials and some materials don't allow that water vapour transport. If those materials that don't allow the water vapour transport are used in the wrong place within a building, then they can provide a point in that construction where water will condense and then it can lead to liquid water deposition and issues within the building structure. In New Zealand they had problems when they had liquid water ingress into construction systems and then there was a build up of this liquid water which led to structural issues such as wood rot and a lot of buildings becoming structurally unsound. It could happen in Australia if people don't pay careful attention to waterproofing and then also designing robust structural um, systems into buildings which allow the water to escape out of the construction systems if it gets in. And if that water vapour or liquid water does get into that construction system, designers need to make sure that that water vapour or the liquid water can escape from that system to keep it dry and it will last a much longer time. Insulation is very important in the whole moisture balance of a construction system because it changes the temperature profile across that construction system. And when you get water vapour in air, then temperature becomes very important because when you get low temperatures, that water vapour will condense. And when that water vapour condenses, then it turns to liquid water and then it can lead to wood rot and mould. We have a big challenge in Australia because of the diverse climates in Australia and the way you use membranes within construction systems in Australia can differ for all climates. And there's no specific rules around how you should use those membranes, but rather it has to be considered as a whole construction system in itself. So you have to consider the insulation with the products that go around the insulation and then the membrane which goes within the construction system and the performance characteristics of that membrane.